Hi, my name is Brad Thomas and welcome to Discovering Your Greatness, the video series companion to my book, The Greatness Revolution. It's the circle of life and it moves us all through despair and hope, through faith and love, till we find our place on the path unwinding, the circle, the circle of life. I love The Lion King, which is actually Hamlet by Shakespeare. Remember when Mufasa tells Simba, look Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. We become the grass and the antelope eat the grass and so we are all part of the circle of life. Ah, good times. Oh, sorry. Most of us are accustomed to the idea of life as a circle. You're born, you pay taxes, you die. Okay, maybe there's more to life than that. But contrary to popular belief, life is not a circle. Life is a spiral. It's even in the lyrics to the circle of life. The path unwinding. This image can represent a lifetime, a decade, a year, a month, a week, a day, an hour, even a moment. Most people view their Mondays through Fridays each day as a circle. Get up, shower, brush teeth, eat breakfast, go to work slash school, etc. Come home, do chores slash homework slash work from the office, watch TV slash movies slash the web, brush teeth, go to bed. Get up, okay. You ever been there? Yeah, me too. But what if you made the shift? What if instead of seeing circles, you changed your mind and saw spirals? Soren Kierkegaard said, I must find a truth that is true for me, the idea for which I can live or die. We hear a lot about what people would die for. I'd die for my country, my family, my friends, my Gibson Les Paul standard electric guitar. Oh, uh, maybe that's just me. We don't hear a lot about what people would live for. It seems humanity is more consumed with death. One brief moment in all of our existence. It seems most of us spend our myriad of moments in life focus on how to avoid the one brief moment of death. In fact, it seems many of us define life simply as longevity, as quantity, and not quality as if simply having a pulse and respiration is enough. I mean, is a long life necessarily a fulfilling life? Shouldn't life be defined as more than a pulse and breathing in and out? Shouldn't it have something to do with living your dream, your calling, your vocation, your truth? Shouldn't the refrain rolling off our lips be something other than TGIF, thank God it's Friday? What about TGIT? Thank God it's today. You might be asking, how would I do that? See life as a spiral, a series of moments in which to practice the listen and learn technique so you can live your dream more fully every moment of every day. Here we are in a moment. It may be a moment of struggle or difficulty. Every moment has something to teach me about myself, the world I inhabit, and how I can move closer to my dream, my calling, my truth. As I find myself in this moment, I go through a series of steps. First, I listen to the moment. I open my heart and mind to what is actually going on in the moment. Next, I reflect on the moment. I ask, what am I learning about myself? others, the world, in this moment. Then, I learn. I take from my reflection something I can do differently the next time I confront a similar moment. I practice wisdom and vision. After this, I adjust my plan to encompass the lesson learned for the moments ahead. And finally, I move into the next moment, taking with me the lesson learned the new adjusted plan so that I'm better equipped for what lies ahead in my life. Employ the listen and learn technique at every moment. And remember, life is a spiral. And don't forget, 
Walk in your greatness and have a great day.